All right, well, I have found the source of the leak into the cabin. This is a 33-year-old truck, so yeah, sometimes they get a little rusty around the windshields. So we're gonna have to pull this windshield out and um, do a little welding, get this stuff fixed before we put a new windshield in. All right, look at this windshield stuff coming apart here. View here. All right. I don't think that was the original weather stripping. It didn't matter. It is out of there. And, uh, there's a lot of goop right through here. Maybe they tried to seal something. I don't expect any problems on top. Looks like the Suburban was painted before the new windshield was put in. That looks good. Yeah, let's check out this corner here. Oh, there's a small little rust hole there, but that's not bad. I don't even need to patch that, all I have to do is just kind of make it together. But we're gonna clean out this whole channel, make sure we're completely rust free. We'll throw some uh, pour 15 or something in there and uh, put some new glass in. Wow, okay, so I just took my razor blade and put it underneath here and cut off this outside I should say, I should cut off this inside lip here. And the whole thing just kind of peeled right off. So I think this windshield is gonna just pop right out now. So um, I'm gonna clean up around this a little bit and we'll see if we can get rid of this thing, get it out. All right, here we go. All right, you got it? And we'll just walk it over. Where should we put it? Well, that's gone. Now the rest of the molding can come out. We can see how bad the damage is. Ew. Oh, crud. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. All right, we got a little work to do. All right, well here's the damage. You can see it's all rusty up in here. Got a hole, that's where the water was leaking. So we gotta clean all that stuff up, get a nice coat of primer and some paint before we put the new windshield in there. So a little bit of glue, I think that's the original glue, but maybe it was leaking with the original windshield. Here is the, the driver's side. So there's a little pinhole right there. But who knows what's underneath all this. Oh yeah, we got a hole here. That's a hole. So we're gonna dig all this stuff out. We're gonna get a wire brush to this. We're gonna dig it all out. We're gonna weld up the holes. We're gonna make this look pretty. All right, well here is the passenger side with the uh, channel cleaned out. Got a few pinholes in here, as well as a big hole. So yeah, that's where our leak was. I can feel the rust on the inside too. So that'll all have to come out. All right, so this is some of the damage that I need to fix today. Um, as you can see, I've, we've already cleaned this out pretty well. We've knocked off all the loose rust from this windshield channel and uh, we've got to fill this hole. There's a couple of little holes on the side that I'm just going to try to weld up. 
And we'll see how that goes first before I commit too large of a patch panel. So let's uh, try the little holes first and we'll see how this goes. So I am using a Craftsman 110 welder. Got on the lowest setting, number one. Let's see how we do here. Nice. That was a little rougher. And when you got a lot of rusty metal, the thin parts tend to burn through real easy. All right, so I'm gonna grind those down and we'll see if we can keep the patch right there in the middle. So, yeah, these uh, little pinholes welded in pretty well. So I was pretty happy. This one got a little bit big, but took care of it. Not a problem. So really, I just need to make a small patch for this uh, quarter size hole, and uh, we'll be done. All right, so this is my little patch panel that I made for that quarter size uh, hole and I am just going to take a little uh, Dremel tool with a carbide circular blade on it and we'll cut that out inside the lines and then we'll weld this thing in. So here is my final fit of my patch. The gap right there, it might be a little bit big, but not too shabby. That should weld in pretty well.
right, so I got the, uh, the welds ground down. I'm just kind of putting a few little finishing touches on the, uh, on the metal work. And um, like I said, a small coat of primer and a little bit of paint, and this thing will be ready for the windshield. Okay, so to match the paint, I took a spare body panel down to my local auto paint supplier and had them scan this thing. All right. Anyway, their scanner um, matched that silver with this Honda color uh, called Cutlery Silver. And uh, the second match wasn't even a GM match. Um, this one here supposedly had a very good match. The second best match was a okay match. I think good is um, what the computer described it, as opposed to you know almost perfect. So bought a quarter of this stuff for sixty bucks. Brought it home, sprayed it. It was wrong. The metal flake is too coarse. Um, the actual value is pretty close, but the metal flake, metal flake just makes it look all wrong. So I was thinking, you know what? If I had a 94 Suburban, and I wanted to get the silver reed painted, and I was spending all the money to paint the door jams, and inside, and under the hood, and the cowl, and, you know, I really like this truck, apparently. Because you don't do a cheap paint job on a truck you don't like. And if he likes his truck, why would he be choosing a Honda color? Unless, of course, maybe he works in a, you know, uh, a auto body place or something. But this is a freaking Suburban. He's got two gallons of Honda silver just laying around. You can paint a couple of Hondas with that. So, uh, went online, did a little research. Come up with this one here. GM Ultra Silver. This was made uh, around 96, 97. Uh, painted some Suburbans this color. Uh, it's definitely one of the brightest silvers out there. So I took a gamble and had the paint shop give me a pint of this stuff. I think I got it. Alright, well here's the finished result here. So I got a pretty good match for the original 1996-97 GM Ultra Silver. I went ahead and painted the whole cowl while I was in there. And I need to go back in and throw a little bit more seam sealer down in the bottom of these channels here just to make sure I don't have any water leaks. Got that stuff on order, it's coming in soon. But you can see, good match all the way around. Ready for the windshield now.